Wala pa rin makatalo kay Vivo in terms of the camera. At least sa mid-range. That is the camera and design. Kaya if you're looking for the best camera phone this Christmas, Vivo V29e, mga kaibigan. Flagship-like camera, 64MP OIS, ultra-sensing camera, very similar to the Vivo V29. Meron pa siyang Aura Light Portrait 2.0 sa likod. The changing of the cooling to the warming. Pero yan, let's unbox this right now. Kapag sabihin sa inyo watching, unbox tayo. Ah! Hey! Pinaribi ako dito eh! Kapag sabihin sa inyo watching, unbox tayo this. Uhu! Okay, so let us unbox this. Now the thing about this phone is that it actually looks like the iPhone 15. Ka shape at ka material niya ata to. And underneath we're getting a jelly case, important information and warranty card, the quick start guide, USB Type-C cable, and a 44 watt charger, flash charging technology. Ay, meron pala samang SIM ejector pin. There you go. Ito na po yung phone, Ice Creek Blue. Meron pa siyang forest black color, if you want more professional look. But this one has some nice touches to it. No, yung kanyang likod, ay meron pa siyang parang art style. Parang splash of water. That is a nice touch, pero kung dito gusto, meron siyang color black, which is much more professional, simple, minimalistic. Ayun. But let me just pull in the iPhone 13 here. Actually, yung 13, 14, 15 looks actually the same. And there you go. Diba? The resemblance is uncanny. Pero siyempre, feeling ko iPhone 15 plus talaga yung kamukha niya. Kasi yung size niya, diba? The shape is very similar except for the camera. The camera is, siyempre, pang Android. Uh, pang Vivo talaga, siyempre. Yun talaga yung style na dapat ipakita niya kung hindi masyadong gaya. But yes, from the glass and yung kanyang sides, it's very, very similar in feel, in looks, and impression. Yun nga lang, parang mas uh, rounded talaga yung iPhone. Compared dito, ito medyo rectangular yung kanyang shape. But yes, this is glass. And yung sa side, it does feel like metal. Very sturdy. Maganda maganda yung kanyang build quality. Nasa level na siya ng parang mga flagship smartphones, just like the iPhone 15 or 13. Not only that, the display, look at that display. Grabe naman yan. Uh, sobrang sagad ng mga bezels sa gilid. It's a flat display pero super impressive ng kanyang itsura. Kasi nga, super sagad. And yung kanyang punch hole, super liit din. No? Sa super sagad ng display, the content looks very sagad din. Ito talaga is much more handcrafted to mimic the iPhone. From the materials, to the shape, to the build quality, it is just impressive on how this thing looks like side by side to an iPhone. Na yung likod niya is very minimalistic. No? Yung kanyang camera is ganito na yung itsura niya. May konting umbok. And you've got here one, two cameras right here. Yung una, 64MP. OIS Ultra Sensing Camera. Yung isa naman ay 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Grabe no, dalawang camera na lang uso ngayon. <laughs> Pakuntian na lang po. Um, dati po, tatlo, apat, lima, yun po. Pero for me, it's important sa akin yung quality instead of the many, many other lens na pang hype lang. Dati nga, pataasan ng megapixel ngayon, hindi na po yung case. And I actually love the idea of the Aura Portrait Light kasi nga, oh, maganda yung camera mo pero walang magandang lighting. This actually gives you more flexibility, gives you more creativity, on the go din, no? And syempre, sa ilalim, you only get the Vivo logo. And that's pretty much it. It's flat back, flat sides, rounded corners. It's definitely an iPhone-looking phone. Pwede ba sabihin yun? It's definitely a flagship-looking phone. Parang uh, hindi ko sinabi kanina, or kinumpere kanina. But yes, let's move on to the sides. Ito pa yung kanyang power button, volume rocker dun sa kanyang taas. And up here, we got the microphone. Sa left side, wala po nakalagay dito. Sa ilalim, ano ito lahat? USB Type-C port, is pang microphone, and yung SIM tray, which is a dual nano SIM card slot. Wala po siyang micro SD card slot for expandability, kasi po pang flagship na daw siya. Oh, nice! Ang ganda po na kanyang click dito sa kanyang buttons. Very clicky. Nice. Travel. You know what else is nakaka-addict? Is yung pag-swipe sa screen. Wow, very smooth and very nice colors. No, It's a, uh, has some nice contrast, hindi po siya Low quality tingnan kasi may mga AMOLED display now. Low quality tingnan. Ito po, high quality. This is AMOLED display. It's got a 92% screen to body ratio. Kaya pala sobrang sagad niya. Yung kanyang punch hole is sobrang sobrang liit. Hindi mo siya hatata masyado. When you're using it, doing social media, browsing and things like that, parang halos hindi mo na siya ma-feel. And watching videos here is just a joy. Look at the content on YouTube. Ang ganda diba? Sobrang sagad. Akala mo nag-float na lang yung content sa aking kamay. Yes, that's actually a smartphone I'm holding right now. Not just a display. Yeah. 
'di ba? Parang content na lang grabe, yan. sobrang sagad. Kapag nawakan mo to, sobrang mabibilib ka talaga. I mean, for something that's less than 20k, this is mighty impressive. From landscape to portrait, look at that content. Very loud, but yeah, sakto lang para sa akin. Pero siyang volume boosting technology, umaabot po ng 180% volume when you're watching or listening to music here. Oh, by the way, nakalapit ko sabihin yung kanyang specs sa display. This is a 6.67-inch 1080p, 120Hz refresh rate AMOLED display. Up to 16 million colors. Cinematic P3 color gamit na po siya. Actually, the most impressive thing about the display is yung kanyang super sagad talaga na bezels. Napansin ko, if I'm coming from uh, my iPhone, that's right, mas minipis pa po yung bezels nito kaysa sa iPhone ko. Which is impressive. Kaya pala sobrang na-impress ako sa kanya. Kasi nga, I have never seen or experienced this kind of display yet. Kaya nung nagamit ko siya, talagang blown away ako. From browsing to Facebook, watching videos sa uh, YouTube, it just looks so different na. I'm pretty sure if you get this one, it will blow you away. Kung hindi pa decided, you can actually go to a nearest Vivo store para ma-check mo siya. Baka naka-paskill to doon. Now, syempre, baka important sa inyo yung performance. Okay, here it is. Yung processor niya, Snapdragon 698 5G na po siya. 5G processor. What does that actually look like? Here it is. The score is 450,000 points. And 2 to benchmark. Very impressive yan. Although not the best for, for the price, syempre. If you really want some sheer power and gaming stuff, there are some gaming phones out there. But actually buying this for the gaming stuff. But in terms of gaming, ito na po siya. It's actually impressive in terms of optimization kasi ngayon kanyang gaming performance was surprisingly ganito. Una wala meron siyang ultra graphics right out of the box and super refresh rate. When I started playing Mobile Legends on this thing, oh my god, I was very surprised with what I found. Aside from the performance, ito po yung napansin ko. Yung kanyang touch accuracy, responsiveness, it could be the panel at the side kapag iniswipe mo may lalabas pong ganito. Naka game mode po daw siya. Dito sa game mode, meron siyang special features that really help you elevate your gameplay. Meron siyang 10 times touch control resolution. That's why. Napansin din ng mga videographer ko na sobrang responsive talaga na kanyang touch response. Especially when we're playing Mobile Legends, mga assassin, si Paquito, grabe. Ang smooth po ng combo niya using this phone. Also, the graphics is just pang flagship. High resolution. Ganda ng colors. And yung mga animation and effects are just so good to look at. All thanks to that brilliant display. Ganda rin ang effect ng kanyang pagkasagad. Not only for watching movies, but also for playing games. Hanggang dyan, yung effect ng kanyang napakagandang display. We were not expecting this kind of gaming prowess from a Vivo phone. Alam ko, binabash nyo na siya. Snapdragon 698 Watt 6. Tulad na sinabi ko, it's not about the, the Antutu benchmark. It's not about the processor and things like that. It's actually the optimization no processor. And it looks like sobrang optimized pala nitong Snapdragon 698 5G for pretty much anything we throw at it. Ito ah, Call of Duty naman. Ganun din, very smooth, no? Although, ito po yung kanyang uh, settings dito. Max frame rates and high graphics lang yung pinaka-max niya. Pero kung gusto mo talaga mas mataas yung graphics, very high graphics, very high refresh rate lang po. Again, sobrang ganda po ng graphics dito. Even though 698 5G yung processor very optimized siya for the game. We also noticed that the sound quality is also perfect for those gunshots, mga... Kasi nga yung kanyang sound quality. Meron po siyang audio booster. High-res audio po to. It gives you a brighter sound, a maximum volume of 71 dB, 150% audio booster po to. And that is why napansin namin na, although hindi siya super loud talaga and the bass could be better, pero kasi treble ang linis niya. Ang linis talaga ng sound quality niya. Every gunshot, malinis po pakinggan. And last but not least, sa Genshin Impact. Dito na, dito na talaga masabi na kailangan mo talaga ng extra power to actually play this game. Kasi nga, ito, lowest settings pero 60 frames per second. Don't expect too much, no? Uh, uh, siguro mas maganda kung 7 plus Gen 2, no? Ito yung talaga yung the perfect processor for the mid-range to play this game without a hitch. And I know only a few smartphones na meron ganun. So, especially this year. Like, isa lang ata. Meron ganun. Very rare, no? But yes, even though it's low res, you can actually play Genshin Impact pretty smoothly. 60 frames per second. Kung yun naman talaga hapon mo. If you want uh, better graphics, pati ka mag-medium graphics ka lang, ibaba mo siya sa 30 frames per second. You'll be much happier, mas longer in yung playing session. You'll thank me later. And of course, saving the best for last, the camera. This is the main reason why you'll get a Vivo in the first place. Again, 64MP OIS Ultra Sensing Camera. Very powerful. 
Here are the pictures. Actually, sobrang na-impress yung videographer slash photographer namin na si Kay. Like, siya pala kumuha ng mga pictures na to. Uh, as you're seeing on screen right now. Siya yung kumuha ng mga pictures ni KM. Sobrang ganda, diba? But yes, ano sa'yo mo, bro? First, I think yung dynamic range niya sobrang ganda. Uh, as well as yung quality nung telephoto. Kasi, um, there are shots na close-up. Tapos, syempre medyo awkward if like sobrang tutok ng camera. So, I use the telephoto para may konting space pa rin po. And, Maganda siya, especially yung mga street photo din na shots na ginawa namin. Um, na-try namin yung pro mode which is sobrang ganda. Sobrang makokontrol mo talaga yung quality, yung uh, aperture ISO, ganyan, madadial mo talaga yung settings na gusto mo. As well as yung mga filters na kasama, na-test din po namin sila. And maganda din, it adds din dun sa an overall quality. Ah, yes. Thank you, bro. Mm -hmm. Galing. Actually, the, everything he said was true, no? Most of the features right here actually give you that pro performance. Kasi sometimes, yung mga smartphone, especially sa mga murang segment, ay medyo pang smartphone talaga yung itsura, yung image quality pang smartphone. Alam mo talaga na smartphone yung itsura kung saan ang galing picture. But this one, mapapaisip ka, ah, kuha ba yun ng DSLR? Kuha ba yun ng isang uh, professional camera? Well, no. It's actually taken by a Vivo V29e. That is how impressive it is. The, from the color, kakaiba yung color kasi niya. Um, it's it's very different from the other mid-range phones, which sets it apart from the competition. That's why it's actually the best in the mid-range segment. Plus, meron pang Aura Light Portrait 2.0, which is pretty nice. Very handy po to when we were taking pictures of KM in low light. Ito po yung itsura niya. No? Uh, without the light, ito po yung itsura niya. With the light, ito na po. Uh, warm color. Yan, yung pwede mong gawin sa kanya. Or kung gusto yung lighter na color niya, yung parang cool version. Ito pa yung itsura ng cool version niya. Oh, wow, very uh, very vibrant si KM dito. And it actually looks like meron talagang ilaw. Parang mas naging balance yung mukha niya. Kasi kanina may mga shadows dun sa walang ano, walang ilaw na part. Well, it depends naman sa inyong uh, artistic style naman. No? I actually like the walang ilaw a bit. Kasi nga, mas natural tingnan yung the shadows give it a nice natural roll off. But yeah, if you want a much more vibrant, siguro mas maraming likes itong... Uh, isa yung may ilaw I think so too yung warm feeling ko parang ano to parang artistic siya dun sa mga sunset ganun na parang gusto yung mga golden hour if you want pero actually this was taken inside of the house parang kunwari meron kang window of the sunset facing you and you wanna have that effect pwede siya no? it actually can do that kind of effect but yes from the background blur the color the image quality it's just way above the competition but still it's not on the league pa rin ng mga flagship. Flagship talaga, alam mo talagang you get what you're paying for for those phones. But it is impressive that Vivo has included this almost flagship-like sensor image processing in the Vivo V29e. Thank you so much, Vivo. We love you. We love you, Ann Curtis. We love you, NBA. Wishing for more partnerships. Hey, kailan nyo ng live seller? <coughs> Magkano ba to? Magkano ba to? Wait, wait, wait lang. Before I tell you, the pricing on this. Ito pala yung mga videos na nakuha namin using this phone. Pretty nice as well. Pero nga lang, 1080p at 60 frames per second lang po siya. Limited by the processor, I guess. At ito naman yung kanyang 50 megapixel AF camera. Look at that. Ba't talaga yung quality pag vivo? This is the right color of my studio, of my background. Na iba kasi medyo bluish, medyo orange. It, this is the right, the real color of my background. And also my face ay grabe. That's the right beautification. Yung pasay sobrang uh, payat na mukha ko, sobrang slim, sobrang puti. This one looks a little bit natural. Pero syempre, ito yung parang daya guys. No? Hindi mo na kailangan mag-makeup pa. Uh, everything na vlog ka, feeling mo talaga, sure na sure ka, na fresh ka lagi, and pleasing to everyone's eyes. At syempre, mga selfie photos na nakakawin dito. Ito yung sobrang nakaka-addict talaga kay Vivo. Kapag uh, nakakuha ka ng isang Vivo phone, you will always take selfies with it. Kasi alam mo talaga, super okay niya. Confident ka lagi na to take your pictures here and I'm pretty sure magkakaroon na maraming likes if you take photos with a Vivo phone. I mean, look at that. Sobrang effortless. Effortless talaga. Tapos! Speak of tapos, tapos na ang laban. Although many are boasting their gaming sulitness daw in this price range, nobody can... Feeling ko nga eh, after this review, this could actually be your next gaming phone. Okay, na, it's not marketed as a gaming phone. It's actually marketed as a premium uh, camera phone, premium mid-range phone. But what you did, Vivo, here is just so impressive. And I believe you can do more in the future. Parang sobrang bilib talaga ako sa ginawa mo dito. The pricing of this thing is 18,999 pesos. By the way, 12 gigs of RAM na po yung mga dito and 256 gigs of internal storage. 
wow. And even though wala na siyang micro SD card slot, 256 gigabytes is very much plenty. Actually, in the future, na if you want to consider Vivo X100, kunin nyo ako. I would love to have that smartphone. Or not. Pwede nala ako. If you want to see more Vivo phones, reviews, unboxings sa aking channel, subscribe lang kayo. Hit the like on so that you don't miss any of my great videos. Sabihin sa inyo watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo!